Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using stored procedures how to create a table dynamically with a link to SQL class. Create table. And see here we got a message table created successfully. Let's check the results in the database. I'm refreshing the tables folder again. And notice after I refresh the tables, we got a four tables here. The table name is the EMP table, which is this one EMP table. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET to create a new table dynamically using store procedure, first we'll check the database and we'll create a new stored procedure in the database I'm expanding the root folder as well as I'm expanding the databases and notice there is a new DB database which is a user database I want to create a new table in this database let's expand that one as well as the tables folder now my aim is I want to add the new table in this database using stored procedure so to create a stored procedure notice in this new db database there is a programmability folder expand that one and programmability folder there is a stored procedures folder i click that one new stored procedure and here we got the default code of the stored procedure i'm deleting this stored procedure default name stored procedure name and parameters I'm adding the new store procedure name is a new table is a table name employee table is a table name let's put this D capital after that I don't require this statement instead of that I'm adding create table EMP table is a table name let's add the columns emp id integer type not now i'm adding primary key as well as i'm adding the identity column for this table one comma one the next column name is a employee name and var cal 150 salary which is the integer type and email email and that cat 150 semicolon let's close uh, another bracket here that's it I have written the query to create a table in this third procedure employee table and this table contains four columns EMP ID employee name salary and email let's execute the stored procedure and here we got a message command completed successfully let's expand the stored procedures and notice here we got the employee table this stored procedure name is added now the next part in the visual studio let's open visual studio for this video tutorial i'm creating a new asp.net project go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the name of the application is stored procedure table create link to SQL is a project name click OK and from the templates I'm selecting empty click OK and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer right click the project name add web form the item name web form is table create click ok And here we got the source page of the newly created table create.aspx page. Now in the source page between form and do tag, I'm adding a center tag. 
special attacks. Create a new table using stored procedures with link to scrap. Let's do ASP.NET tutorials horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line I am adding two controls one is button control and the second one is the label control to display the message the table is created or not. So let's add the controls open toolbox in the standard folder there is a button control let's add that one. I am changing the text property button to create table After that, I'm adding the label control, open toolbox. Here is a label control. Now in this label control, I'm deleting this text property. That's it. Up to now, we have just finished the designing part. Now the next step in the server explorer, let's add the database name. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding SQL server name is after adding SQL server name let's select the database name the database name is a new DB I have selected I want to create a new table in this new DB database using stored procedure test connection is succeeded okay okay And notice here the new db.db or database is added under data connections. After adding the database in the data connections, let's add the link to SQL class, open solution explorer, right click the project name, add a link to SQL classes, select that one, item name, the data class one, I'm not changing anything, click OK. And here we got the data class 1.dbml. Just to have added one data context.dbml class. Switch to the source mode, design mode. Double click the button control. Now in this button control, I'm adding the data context class name is data uh, class 1.data context. This is object new data class one dot data context. And notice there is an error showing. So we require the string connection. So open server explorer, right click the database name, go to properties. In the properties, there is a connection string which contains a data source. Let's copy that one and add between double quotes because because it's accept string parameter so after adding the connection string there is one more error we got so to fix this let's add another backslash notice the error has gone now dc dot execute command method and this in this execute command method I'm adding the stored procedure name our stored procedure name is employee table copy this one and paste here between double quotes after that dc dot submit changes method once the table is created in the new db database I want to display the message a label one dot text is equals to table created successfully semicolon that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results Google Chrome and here we got the final output the header tax, horizontal line and the button control. Now before click the button control, let's check the database. I want to create a new table in this new db database. 
I'm refreshing the tables folder of the new DB. Right now, this database contains three tables city, e commerce, and state. Let's create a new table. Create table. And see here we got a message table created successfully. Let's check the results in the database. I'm refreshing the tables folder again. And notice after I refresh the tables, we got a four tables here. The table name is the EMP table which is this one EMP table we have created the table dynamically using stored procedure with a link to SQL that's it